All right. I'm at a disadvantage right now. I My iPhone had an update this last week. And because of the update, my I, my GoPro can't connect to the GoPro app. And I've tried everything to get it to work so I can see what the heck I'm videoing. And I can't get it to work. So I'm just going to have to rely on the old-fashioned way of lining up my camera and hopefully getting having it stay that way. Time to play with some clay. I'm uh, taking a piece of wire, making a horseshoe nail type thing out of it, and I'm going to drive it through her forehead. And that way, it will connect it to her head, and it won't be falling off. And I hate doing that, but I don't have any other way of doing this uh, and making sure it's not going to slip and fall and smash itself during the night. So, Good as new. I haven't decided yet, quite yet, what animal to put on this piece. I was thinking of a, a dog, a little puppy. I'm still thinking of that one. And I was thinking of a chipmunk. Because chipmunks can be cute too. But I've got to have her stare or her the direction she's looking at be where the animal is. So I've just got to figure out how I'm going to do this. And I haven't quite figured it out yet. I'm trying to control my breathing so it's not quite so loud. <laughs> I've gotten into a habit of making loud breathing noises when I'm concentrating and I try to control that and it doesn't always work and I actually had somebody ask me to quit breathing so loud <laughs> and I'm trying I really am I know it irritates me too hearing myself breathe that's not good right there that's what I just added was not good where I live here in a the Madison Valley used to be a gathering area for all the Na Native American tribes, the Hidatsa, the Arikara, the Lakota, the Dakota, uh, all the different tribes would come here in the summer to hunt for food because there were lots of elk and antelope here and different animals that uh, they need in buffalo um, I used to live just south of town here out on the base of a mountain and I was walking out in the field and I found a um, 
gotta find me a tool here. I I was I found me a shell of a buffalo horn. In other words, there's a shell that develops over the uh, horn of the buffalo, and it was the only thing left of that buffalo. And I found it laying on the ground, and I was just amazed to re imagine the herds of buffalo that used to roam where I live right here. It's funny, and that was only 200 years ago. And, or even less. Uh, we've, our past history is not that far away. I worked with people at my job when I was working at a uh, printing plant in Salt Lake City. I used to be a uh, makeup artist. I would put together books. I remember one by a baseball player it was about his life and I was making his book up. I was setting a type and then uh, making up the pages and there is a original letter from town fathers of a town that named a street after baseball player I was making the book up about and uh, I spilled the coke on it and bored all the signatures on the letter and I kept on waiting for the guy to come in with his baseball bat to beat the heck out of me for screwing up a document that was something important to him and uh, it's funny I used to go in at 3 o'clock in the morning to put together a TV guide for this area, this whole inner mountain area here. We'd get it from uh, Red Bank, New Jersey, over the wire. And it was uh, very primitive because it was back in the... Uh, 70s and uh, 80s. I quit that job in 81, so it's quite a ways back. But anyway, I've worked with people who were born in the 1870s. And the 1870s is only 30 years after the mountain men were dominant out here. 1870s, the West was still being settled. So, our history is not that long ago when you think about it. I know I seem like I'm spending an awful lot, and a lot of time on my face of this girl, but uh, it's very important that I get it right. I think what I'm going to do right now is go over it with a uh, lighter fluid just to smooth it out a bit. Uh, I just spent about a half hour going through my tools. My, I've got so many tools that I've got to go through and sort them out every once in a while or else, uh, well, I end up doing what I just did, spending time looking for tools. All right, be right back. Now, this is the chipmunk I'm thinking of doing. I've got several pictures of chipmunks. This gives me scale to her hand. And uh, or do American Jingo pups. Uh, American Jingo is a, is a native dog to America. It's the oldest breed. It's actually, it's been here for thousands of years. Uh, it's related to the Australian dingo. I don't know how it got here, but it's been here for thousands of years. And uh, I'm thinking about putting a pup 
maybe laying down, I don't know. I've got to decide, and I've got to decide how to situate it. So that's what I'm thinking about doing. And all this is because a, a gentleman by the name of Andrew Lowry suggested I put an animal of some kind in the piece and have her looking at it with a smile. So anyway, that's uh, what I'm thinking. Her stare is just about right there. So I've got to design my animal to be in this area. And uh, she's got a mirror in her hand. I took the mirror off her lap and put it in her hand. Um, there's nothing that says that's a mirror. It looks like a big paddle board. I've got to figure something out on that one because uh, it's a trade mirror that she's been looking through or at. And uh, I just got to figure out how to make it understandable that that's a mirror. Anyway, I'm just going to rough in a uh, chipmunk just, just to see what it would look like. And uh, running out of clay again. So I'm going to have to uh, get some more. See, I've got, if I put the chipmunk there, I've got to have something on the base that connects it to the chipmunk. And I've got to figure out what that's going to be. I don't know if this is going to work. Let's see. No, because her stare is still over here. Now I could lower her eyes, but her head's at the wrong angle. You know what? I think I'm going to try the puppy real quick. Okay, I'm just uh, trying to get the scale just right. Try to work out the scale for the puppy. I'm just going to block it in. I'm not going to... I think the puppy's going to be probably the thing that works out the best for this. Because I can have the puppy right... Almost right here. Maybe even have the paw of the puppy up on her blanket. Alright, that might work. I'm just... Put the paw up on her blanket. Like he's looking for some affection. Oop. Turntable. Ah! Camera's too close to my work here. Of course, I'll have to do better on that leg. Now the dingo has a curly tail. I've uh, put the paw. Of course, I don't know if I like that yet, but I'll figure it all out when I get ready to do this. But I'm just blocking it in to see what it will look like. And I think the puppy would work out better than a chipmunk. Uh, mainly because I don't think they'd let a chipmunk get in their teepee. <laughs> and also, this is bigger which than a chipmunk. The chipmunk would be real small, be about this big. This uh, doesn't disappear when you turn it, you get a nice view of the dog from different angles, and it's, it looks good with her, and uh, her nice little smile makes it nice and interesting. Looks good from every angle. So I'm going to have to come back tomorrow, I'm going to cut up some clay tomorrow, and 
give myself some more clay to work with because I don't have enough clay right now to do anything with. And also, I want to make an armature. But first, before I can do that, see, I got to widen the base. It, uh, they can't make a mold of it with it, uh, the clay sitting right on the edge of the board. They have to have a flat area to make the mold. Uh, and I've got to increase the size of the, or the width of the base anyway. So I've got to go to the store tomorrow and get some wood. I may not be down here tomorrow because of that. Uh, but I will definitely be here Friday, if, if not tomorrow. All right, everybody. Good night. I think you can see what I'm thinking. And I think it's an idea that might work well. All right, everybody. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.